it's here. It's officially here. The start of the good old holiday season. To my friends and subscribers and everybody watching here in the United States and territories of the United States, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you're surrounded by friends and family today or sitting by yourself, it doesn't really matter. I just hope you're enjoying your day. To uh, everyone that's uh, abroad, uh, not in the U.S., happy Thursday. Hope you have a nice Thursday. But anyway, I uh, wanted to get out today, take a ride. It is cold. Woo. It's actually Tuesday. You know, this will be uploaded on Thursday, which is Thanksgiving here in the U.S. But I wanted to get out and, and ride. I, I debated whether uh, to take a break this week or not. But, you know, it's a beautiful day. But it's cold. So I figured I would take an extended lunch break and take a little ride. Now, when I say cold, uh, for this part of Virginia, it's cold. It's like 39 degrees right now. So you can imagine what the wind chill is. Uh, if you were one of those people that know how to calculate wind chill, but it's 39 degrees Fahrenheit right now and very breezy. But the sun's out, so I'm all wrapped up. Got two hoodies on, a coat, got my chaps on. Uh, face is a little numb. If I start sniffling here in a little while, it's because my nose starts running. I need to get me a sh whoops, need to get me a shield for this helmet. Um, but I'm out taking a ride today and because I had an idea and I don't know what I'm going to do. This may just be a ride video. I, I don't know. But I've got an idea. I'm thinking about doing a series or a segment or I, I don't know what to call it. But I'm thinking about doing something um, with gas station food. Um, I'm a fan of gas station food and being, you know, it's Thanksgiving, or what I like to call the feeding season. I'm gonna go out and treat myself and take you guys along with me. So I was thinking about places to go and eat and some of the places that I frequent. And you know, I'm a guy that I like to multitask. You know, if I can knock out two or three things at once in one stop and only have to deal with very few people, um, I'm all about that. So I got to thinking, you know, when I do eat out, I tend to eat a lot of gas station food. Now, what I mean by gas station food, you know, I'm not talking about, you know, a box of Twinkies or, you know, some beef jerky from 7-Eleven. I'm talking about places that have actual food to serve and they have gas pumps out front. So it could be a restaurant and a gas station. It could be, you know, like a big convenience store like Wawa or Sheets or Royal Farms or something like that. Um, but just gas station food in general, real food, not, you know, packaged stuff. So today, I figure since it is so cold, I want to try to keep it close to home. And I am running down here uh, just across the North Carolina state line. I think I've mentioned before, I live right just a couple miles north of the North Carolina state line. So we're going to run down here, cross the state line into a little town called Moyoc. If you are familiar with the Outer Banks, maybe you live up in, uh, you know, the north and you come down here to the Outer Banks and vacation, you've driven through Moyoc because it's Highway 168, which is the road that takes you down to the Outer Banks. So we're going to stop on the North Carolina side. There's two stops down there. There's one called the Border Station. It's on the Virginia side. Actually, the state line runs right through it. So half the stores in Virginia and half the stores in North Carolina. But we're just going to go a little past that. And we're going to stop at Southland. Southland has been there for years. I've been going to Southland forever. Um, and, and Southland's a really unique store. So we're going to check out Southland. They've got some really good, or at least last time I had it, which has been a couple years. I haven't eaten it at Southland in a couple years. But uh, they have some really good pulled pork. So we're going to go down and get us a pulled pork barbecue sandwich at Southland. So I figured I'd take you guys along with me on this brisk November day as we're closing out November. It's hard to believe December is next week. It's crazy. But as I was saying, you know, December is next week. You know, I'm starting to get my Christmas decorations out, get everything all set up. Really looking forward to it. I love this time of year. I love to see the lights. That's another thing I'm thinking about doing is taking you guys out and showing you some of the Christmas lights in the area. 
Uh, my neighborhood always does a great job with their lights, and then we've got a couple displays here down at the beach over in Norfolk, so maybe we'll take a ride, an evening ride, and check out some of these light displays. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. So for right now, we're going to go check out this lunch stop, get us a barbecue sandwich, take a look around Southland, and see what you guys think. So it is cold. I'm going to focus on holding on to these handlebars. I've only got a couple more minutes to go, um, and I'll be down there at Southland. So we'll pick it up when we get down there. There's the border station. It's on the Virginia state line. Half the store in Virginia, half in North Carolina. We're crossing the state line here. And right over here, it's good old Southland. Right, we made it to Southland and it meets our criteria because we have gas pumps over here and the store over here got some barbecue now there's a restaurant over there um, separate from the store here but good old tobacco outlet so let's go inside and take a look around see what we can find inside Southland or a Mexican blanket or some fireworks maybe try my, my luck at gaming pick myself up a new blade something for the dog maybe a little tie-dye or a dream catcher how about some jewelry for my wife Maybe a carton of smokes or some vape. Maybe some homemade fudge. How about a new hat to support your favorite political candidate? No trip is complete to the south without some bold peanuts. Alright, so 
this is what we came for. As soon as you cross the state line into North Carolina, it's right there on your left. So next time you're heading down, check out Southland. Go in there and get you a pulled pork sandwich. Maybe do a little shopping. They got all kind of stuff in there. Pretty much anything you would want. So with that said, I'm heading back to the house. I'm working from home today. I've got to swing by the post office because the old app says I got some mail. So that means I might be doing another mail call. But I'm going to head back. It's a little chilly. Got to get warmed up, get some work done, get ready to shut it down for this week, and enjoy my Thanksgiving. And with that said, I want to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving as well, and a happy start to the holiday season. Until we talk again, you guys be careful, you guys be safe, always keep your shiny side up, and we'll talk to you next time.